Here I have new oil and here I have old used oil. The sludgy black oil that's in your engine right now can cause a lot of premature failures. The hotter the engine gets, the thinner the oil gets. Especially in the summer, you, you don't want thin oil in your car because you can starve the heads and there's not enough oil pressure in the, to lubricate the camshaft. It, it, depending on the engine that you have, the valve springs, retainers, all that. If that doesn't have the correct amount of oil pressure, there you can have a lot of failures. Going overdue on your maintenance, it does more harm than good, and this is new fresh oil. New oil, every oil passage in your engine is, is getting the proper oil pressure and your engine's gonna run longer and smoother. It's thick and it doesn't move as much, but your sludgy oil is no longer doing its job and you probably have particles of metal in there and it could, it could clog up a lot of stuff. I've seen multiple engine failures due to neglecting your oil change. That's why you have to make sure you get the right viscosity for your engine because your engines have different temperatures than other engines. The hotter the engine gets, the thinner the oil gets. When you're doing an oil change and you're done, the oil sits in the oil pan. It sits at the very bottom of the oil pan. And as soon as you start the car, it all starts shooting up. Oil pickup tube to the oil pump through the crank, rods, cams, caps, and pulls everything off and makes sure everything's running smooth so there's no metal on metal contact. It starts lubricating all that, fills in the gaps, and prevents it from overheating. That's why you have to make sure you get the right viscosity for your engine because your engines have different temperatures than other engines. And if you get your vehicle serviced at Firestone, we usually will put a sticker based on the manufacturer's specification of how often you need to change your oil. Come summertime, you're hitting those long road trips and you're doing more traveling. 4,000 miles in the summer is not the same as 4,000 miles in the winter. We're here to help you complete your trip.